guys, it's Sarah and today I'm going to talk about some books that I have recently downloaded onto my Kindle and I have about eight books I think that I have recently downloaded and these are actually I think the last one I had was in April so this is from May, June, so the last two months and I follow different uh, Kindle deal sites, I guess you could say, like deals for ebooks, and I also use NetGalley. So I'll leave what I use down below. It's mainly BookBub and NetGalley. <laughs> That's where all these came from. Um, but I'll leave links to the websites down below if you guys want to go see them. NetGalley. I've also done a whole video on all of my NetGalley books, and uh, I'll leave that link down below too if you guys haven't seen it. But that kind of explains more about NetGalley. But it is a review site, and you do have to have access to an e-reader in order to utilize that. But then I also use BookBub, which gives you daily deals that pop up on uh, for ebooks, and you kind of pick, you make a profile, and you pick kind of your favorite genres, and it'll give you some deals in those certain genres. So. I have a, quite a few to talk about. Okay, so I will start with the NetGalley books, and these are books that I requested and was approved for, so that's awesome. Uh, the first one is Dark Shores by Danielle L. Jensen. Now, Danielle wrote the Malediction trilogy, which was Stolen Songbird, and then two after that. I have the entire trilogy, haven't read them yet, but th those are fantasy books based on trolls. And I've heard really good things about it. Um, just haven't read it yet. So when I saw that she had a new one coming out, I was immediately interested because I think she's going to be an author that I really like. And then it popped up on NetGalley and I requested it and I got approved. So I was very excited about that. But I believe this is kind of a pirate themed fantasy. The next one is On the Corner of Love and Hate by Nina Bacci. Now this one um, was actually sent to me by the publisher. And I believe it's the same publisher that uh, publishes Christina Lauren books, which is gallery books. And I, they reached out to me about this one and said that they had already pre-approved me <laughs> on NetGalley for it. So I was like, sweet. So I took advantage of it and I read a little bit of synopsis. It sounds really good. It's going to be like an adult romance book. Um, but yeah, so I downloaded it. I'm interested. And the last one on NetGalley is this Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrienne Young. And Adrienne Young writes fantasy books. Um, she just had one out recently uh, about Vikings. And I haven't read it yet, but I do have it. I got it on a super sale on Amazon, I think. And then this one is coming out as well. And I believe this one is, um, you know, it's obviously sea centered. And I think it's like a a prophecy about a girl who lived in the sea and then now she's on land but there's a big battle happening and I think she's a big part of it. That's kind of all I got from the synopsis so we'll see. Okay the next all the rest of them are books that I purchased so these are ones that I found on BookBub for super cheap. I usually don't buy an ebook if it's more than three dollars. <laughs> I just don't because it's a download. Um, so if it's $2.99 or below and it's something that is on my list, something I'm on the lookout for, I will go ahead and pick it up. Uh, the first one is Shadow of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. I got this for 99 cents. And I've heard really, really good things about this one. I've never read Julie Kagawa. I know she has written a lot of dragon books, and I think I had one at one point, but I think I unhauled it. Um, but this one is getting completely rave reviews from people who didn't love her dragon books. So yeah, it's definitely a young adult fantasy. Just don't know exactly what it's about quite yet, but I believe um, the second one is coming out soon too. So this one went on sale and I grabbed it. The next one I grabbed is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. I got this one for $1.99. And this is definitely one that's been on my radar. It's actually on my most anticipated books for this year. And it came out, I believe, in January. So it's been out for a while. It's getting rave reviews from a lot of people. Um, and this one is a young adult fantasy again, and it follows a girl. Um, it's like a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So it's um, that type of thing, but the girl has cerebral palsy. And I think it's getting a lot of praise for being a very positive representation of that. Um, so I'm excited to read it. The next one I picked up is Lifelike by Jay Kristoff, and I got this for $1.99 as well. And this is uh, one, I think the first one in the trilogy that he has, and I believe it's a science fiction. Um, I haven't heard the best things about it, but it's Jay Kristoff and I want to read everything he writes. So I'm willing to give it a try, even if I don't love it, like it's okay. Um, but I believe it's a young adult science fiction. 
And that's all I really know. Another one that I got, and it's a, actually a pretty new release. I was surprised it went down so quickly. And that is uh, Before She Was Found by Heather Gutenkopf. And I got it for $1.99 on Kindle. And um, wow, <laughs> I was like, what? This just came out. I was really shocked that it uh, went on ebook sales so quickly. Um, but she writes mystery thriller books. I haven't read anything by her yet but I want to at some point. So I went ahead and grabbed it while it was cheap. And the last one is For Better and Worse. And this is by Margot Hunt. And this one I got for $1.99 as well. This one I believe was a book of the month pick maybe later last year. And so many people were raving about it when they were reading it for book of the month. And this follows a married couple who I believe they're both lawyers. And in law school, you know, when they were kind of like dating and you know all that stuff and being in law school they kind of made a joke that because they know so much about the law that they could plan the perfect murder and they would actually be able to get away with it and then I think as adults as a married couple they actually end up doing that but I've heard it was like incredible so definitely has been on my radar for a while just hadn't picked it up and I went ahead and picked it up now all right guys that is it those are some of the books that I have downloaded in the past couple of months and um, definitely want to get to them I want to be reading more on my Kindle. <laughs> I don't read enough on my Kindle. I tend to pick up my physical books so I can start making room on my shelves and everything. But I have a Kindle shelf too, so I need to not ignore it. Um, but let me know down below if you guys um, have any good deal sites that you look for ebook deals on. Um, you know, BookBub is kind of the best one that I have found so far. I've tried a couple other ones, but it's just kind of the one that I've stuck with. Um, I also check out a lot of books on my Kindle. You know, my library has a really good selection of Kindle books as well. So that's another thing that you can think about if you do have a Kindle and you have a library card, you can, you know, utilize that option as well. It's a great resource. Okay. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye.